Hey guys, take a picture with the video for you guys in today's video. I'm going to show you how to fix the fitness app on your iPhone, whether the app isn't working, the data on the fitness app isn't correct, or you simply can't use it anymore for some reason. So by default, the fitness app is a great way to track a lot of your fitness goals and exercise says that you have and you can pretty much set it up like you do right here it's really easy and simple to do and it's usually paired up with the apple watch to really get the most out of it so let's say it's not working you're not getting data maybe the app isn't working we're going to walk you through all of that so the very first thing when it happens is that you want to check out your connectivity first thing is you want to ensure that your iphone's bluetooth is on so that it can connect if you have an apple watch to it the other thing i like to do is a quick turn on the airplane mode for a brief moment and turn it back off it does a quick network refresh as you can see here so that if there was any connectivity issue it will fix that issue for you now the next thing you can do is a simple fix is simply closing out the app and reopening it so that the code is reloaded so i swipe up on the app close it out and then reopen again it re initializes the code and hopefully it fixes the problem for you the next thing you want to do is a force restart of your iphone so in order to do a force restart you're going to press the volume up volume down one after another and then hold the side button just like that and wait till the screen goes completely black so you can see here i'm holding the side button after i press the volume up and down one after another and then i hold that side button until the I see the Apple logo reappear. At that time, I let go of that button and I have done a force restart. Again, ensuring that any code related issue that the phone may be experiencing will be resolved after this. The other thing you can also do is that if it's a if your Apple Watch, you can also do the same thing, a force restart on your Apple Watch. Usually you hold a crown down and this a power button at the same time. So you press these two buttons at the same time so I'll press it together with my finger as you can see here it's gonna go completely black just like that and then once the Apple logo reappears I let go of that button as well again helps with the both of the code being reloaded again again this method will not delete any of your personal data so all of your photos videos apps will still be available on your phone now after you have done that the next thing you want to do is ensure that the actual uh, fitness tracking is being enabled on your phone so in order to do that as you'll see here if you have fitness summary right you can take a look at all the settings here make sure all of this is working but the one thing I want to do is on my Apple watch itself if you go into your Apple watch and then you go to privacy here you want to ensure that these settings are on like a uh, heart rate if you're monitoring your heart rate respiratory rate you want to turn that on but the more important thing is this fitness tracking. This should be on by default, but let's say it's turned off. You won't get the data. So you want to ensure that is turned on and it sees that as well. Along with that is that you want to, if your data still has issues, you can also do a reset fitness data calibration. If you do that, it's going to delete your uh, data and history. So this is going to be important to, if you're doing this one, this is because you're having any sort of data or measurement inaccuracy as well. Again, really, again, it's specific to the data actually that you get if you do that. Pretty quick uh, to do it, but again, important to fix your fitness app not working correctly. Along with that, the next thing you also want to ensure that your Apple Watch here, again, is up to date as well with the software here. As you'll see here, if you go into the Apple Watch and then we'll go to general software update and check if there's an update available and if it is it will as you can see here it's downloading the update and you have to wait for the update to happen for in order to successfully do the update you have to see that it has to be on its charger and the range of your iphone connected to wi-fi and during the installation your apple watch has to be at least 50 percent or more charger and you don't want to remove it from its charger when that update happens again the reason why we do the update for that apple watch is that over time let's say a previous update caused some issue for the fitness data not to work correctly you want to ensure that it's up to date and it will be able to work the other thing also you want to ensure that your phone is up to date as well so you go into your settings and then you're going to go to general software update and see if there's an update available for your phone if there is it's going to come up here Again, it will check for the update. Again, you want to make sure you're connected to a good, strong Wi-Fi or cellular data. And if there is, you'll go download and install the update. That's because 
you want both of the devices again to work properly with the latest version of the update let's say you have, Mitch, you have an update that the older on your apple watch and a newer version on the iphone again it's going to cause some compatibility issue let's say you have a updated apple watch but an older version os on your iphone again same thing compatibility issue now after you've even done update and you're still having the issue the other thing you can also do is simply go ahead uh, uh to your general here in settings then you can do a transfer reset iphone and do a reset of all settings now this will not delete your personal data like photos videos apps anything like that but important to do in order to fix any setting related issue it'll just simply set things like network related setting back to defaults if you're connected or saved wi-fi or bluetooth devices you'll have to reconnect them again any keyboard uh, dictionary layout uh, and home screen layout and any keyboard dictionary uh, that you have added and any location privacy settings as well which again sometimes can impact the data tracking between your apple watch and that's it for the video i hope the fitness app is working now again for you on your iphone and if so please make sure to like and subscribe button thanks for watching guys see you guys next time